Gloria Hillard looks at what the pop singer has been up to lately. It's another sound check, another city. She's been on tour for nearly a year. Of course, this has been a way of life for Natalie Merchant. She's 32 now and was just 17 when she became the lead singer for 10,000 Maniacs. And I think a lot of the normal rites of passage that a, a young woman would have, I didn't have. I didn't get to go away to school. I didn't get to have my first job, my first apartment away from home or anything. I, my first apartment away from home was a, a, a house that I lived in with the rest of the guys in 10,000 Maniacs. Today, the singer surrounds herself with women. My tour manager, my sound person, my lighting director, my guitar player. <laughs> there are women all over. And I like Breaking away them. from 10,000 Maniacs uh, was, she says, about finding her own voice. I'm a pretty independent person in the way I like to work and the way I like to live. And being in a group really didn't suit my independent nature. Her solo debut album went platinum. Freedom apparently suits the singer-songwriter. Merchant was raised by a single mother, one of four girls, a good student, more comfortable, she says, with adults than kids her own age. I was a really serious child. I was a, my mother used to call me the, um, the 10 going on 30 child. She describes herself as shy back then, still holds today. I've never been really aggressive about pursuing celebrity or success on that level, you know, or that, you know, taking that route. So basically, I just write songs that people like. She'll get back to writing those songs when the tour ends, returning to her home in upstate New York. Right now I have 10 acres, but I'd, I'd rather have 300 or so. <laughs> I'd love to have a huge farm. But there are still a dozen cities on the road home. Gloria Hillard, CNN Entertainment News, Los Angeles.